Golden Brian is enjoying that little story. If you yes. were there, oh my goodness. So how uh, you doing? I'm doing really good. I, I wasn't expecting to start off by by crying and having to like, okay, now now you're you're watching me as my my little bit of makeup that I put on is it, is it running because of that? You know, well, come on. Hey, I appreciate you going through all of that. It doesn't seem like it was necessary, but uh, thank you. <laughs> we appreciate the effort. Ah, oh right. my gosh. So now it's okay. uh, it's it's bright and early, and we want to say thank you for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now you're on the Amazon best seller list. Uh -huh. How does yeah. that happen? Well, well, something very interesting. I can't tell you about the other ones, but the Amazon bestseller list is it is fleeting. It is fast. Okay. It is furious. Uh -huh. So when you when you get it, you take a snapshot, a screenshot of it, because before you know it, it's going to be gone and somebody else is going to be there. Right, However. Right, right. Just like, um, let's just say New York, uh, New York Times bestselling list, the person does not stay in that spot forever and ever. Right. But I, I, with, with Amazon, I think it goes even faster just due to the sheer volume. Yeah, the volume. Uh, yeah. yeah. But you know, but I, you get to say rights. I was yeah. there. <laughs> I have bragging rights now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like one time I went to the Playboy <laughs> Mansion. I wasn't there, and none. Of, I mean, I wasn't there long. And none of the bunnies talked to me, but I was there. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> I was that's, there. That's what. But but better yet, do you have like a, a photo to like? You okay. Know, if, if anyone inquiring minds want to know, you can you at least show it? And right. It's not just words. So here's the thing, and I, I don't do uh -huh. this, I don't do this often, believe it or not. <laughs> I went with a friend of mine because clearly Uncle Hugh didn't want me there. So, <laughs> My, Too much competition. He don't want a competition. Oh, well, well, good, good try. I like you already. <laughs> but my friend who had the photos, I, this is this is long standing. <laughs> and Tim Duncan has never shared those pictures with me. It was Tim Duncan. Yeah. You, you know, you know, that's my my brother, my my husband's first cousin. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah that's what's up. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Now, so you wrote a book called Yes, sir. Fire Bun. By a bun. All right. Now, let's just get it out of the way. Yes. There's no real historic view of the fire burn, <laughs> is it? No. Okay. No. So, so, so let, let, I'll, I'll backtrack a little bit. Uh -huh. and, um, and, and I am an actress. And one of my acting coaches, I was in class. I can believe that. I can see that. Yeah. Because <laughs> you are acting like you like me. I like that. <laughs> it's no act. Come oh, okay. On. Okay. It's no act. <laughs> this is easy peasy. Come okay, on. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> And, and he pretty much, we were moaning and groaning how there's no work and da 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 da. Oh, whoa, I, I thought it was a love scene for a minute. Okay, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I walked into that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you did, you did. <laughs> And, you know, I, I wanted to play the victim as like, well, you know, being Caribbean American, African American, middle aged female. Oh, my gosh, there's even less for me. And he stopped me in my tracks. There are no victims here. You pull out your your iPhone. You make something happen. If you're able to write, you write something. And so that was a challenge rather. And, and that's a challenge in life rather than than be the victim. Make something happen. And so um, uh, I had been working on, on Fireburn because I'm, I'm also a speaker and in um, my Toastmasters club and if anyone is listening now and they're a Toastmaster they're like oh she's horrible because she's saying um ooh you know right, right, right. but anyway <laughs> anyway um <laughs> you know I, I wrote a, a story about Queen Mary and it won a lot of awards and I found that people from so many different backgrounds were interested in our history okay so um I, I went to a, a party a family party party and um, my aunts were like yeah you know your great great grandmother Mariah she was there and blah blah and I'm like wow my family was on the scene okay. oh my gosh so it, it took it to another level for me and so I, I wrote Fireburn the screenplay with the intention of me and my friends having something to act in and uh, and there, there is a recipe, a formula, so to speak, that um, Richard Campbell's uh, The Hero's Journey, where you start off with the reluctant hero, the hero that doesn't know they have these magical powers, this wonderful thing about them. And they're reluctant, yet they're drawn into a conflict and they're invited to, to solve that conflict and they, they refuse. But finally, through some event, they are forced 
right. and they become the hero and then they lose and then they fail and then they lose and then there's help on the way. So that is the, the formula that I followed, the love triangle, the things that we don't know if they happened or not. Maybe they right. did, maybe they weren't. Because so this we is a fictional there. account. A absolutely. Okay. However, I have included what we do know. I've included names of estates. I have included the, the number of people that were killed, the plantations, the sugarcane fields, and I've included the locations and a lot of uh, historic names as well. Okay. However, you know, the relationship of the queens, they probably, I don't know if they knew each other. They certainly didn't live on the same plantation. However, for the sake of the story and proximity, I put them all on the same plant, you know, most of them on the same plantation, having a relationship, you know? So, right. um, yeah, so, th so that's really what happened is with Fireburn, the screenplay, because um, someone had asked me, is like, when I, when I kept trying to stick to only the facts, uh, a screen screenwriting coach, he asked me, he says, so are you producing a documentary or do you want a film? And I said, well, I want a film. He says, well, you have to have the conflict. You can't just have everybody singing Kumbaya, right. it's a beautiful right. life. Right. You, you have to have that conflict you know you have to have that love triangle and it's up to me how how clean i keep it and how how graphic i get it right. so yeah that's what happened with with the fireburn screenplay all right so now it's another adapt adaptation of of the history absolutely and and my intention with with it was like i said yeah to have something to to act in but however it was also to serve as as a stimulation for for those who read it and have no idea what this is to have a sense of curiosity and then go do some research on their own so that they could say, wow, I, this is interesting. Let me Google it. Let me see what right, books right, right. are out there. But it, it's funny with that as my intention, it ended up kind of like boomeranging around back to me. And I said, you know what? Someone challenged me. They said, and I won't call any names, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they're, they're but actually you should. someone. <laughs> Well, um, anyway, the challenge was, Angela, you are a daughter of the soil. Why would you lie about us? Too many oh. people have taken our <laughs> too many okay. people have taken our history and and lied and uh -huh. distorted it. And I said, but you do understand this is historical fiction, right? Sure. It, it has a purpose. But that just it, it kept on ringing in my head. And with that, I went ahead and I produced a documentary oh. where I came back home. Uh -huh. And I interviewed the people who had looked at the archives, the people that, who I consider to be the, the experts who were willing, because not all the experts were willing to be right. interviewed. And uh, right Which now we're weird, in post-production. Huh? I thought so. Yeah. I, I thought so. Uh, because I think, and, and I'm not saying this is true of, of the particular people who, who said no, but sometimes I think that uh, people who become experts in the field see themselves as the gatekeepers and right. that it's mine, mine, mine. And I'm, I'm only going to do it if my name is the only name on the pro project. And for me, this was to be a collaborative effect. I, I don't even get to be in my own documentary. I did, you know, because I, I'm an artist. And what I bring to the table is that, you know, the creative flair, uh, it's a little bit of drama. I wanted people who knew the story. And so that's what the documentary does. But I, I like I like the way you did that. I mean, you, you took the attention that your story garnered for the real story. Um, yes. And then you tried to shine a light on that story independently. So you could get yes. the fact-finding mission. And I, I admire yes. that. I respect that. Thank you. Now, Thank you. You said daughter of the sile. And <laughs> that, that leads me to ask a question because you got a couple of prominent names in your name. You got Golden and Brian. <laughs> who your fa? Who your people then be? You, you, Louis Golden from Frederickstead. Okay. And that, you, you, Jenny Jackson, Frederickstead. And so I, I have been told that all of the Goldens, if, if you're in the Virgin Islands, we're all related. So, you know, there's, there's Peter Golden, Ann Golden, uh, deceased Louis Golden, right. and all of them, you know, we, Arnold we grew Golden. Up together. I, I, exactly, uh -huh. Arnold Golden. Yeah, and a lot of them I have never met except through Facebook right. or, you know, just hearing the names. But yeah, we're all related. And um, Myron Jackson. Okay. You know, so he would be my, so that's the Jackson side of my family. And then Brian, no relation to, to Governor Brian. Uh, right. But uh, yeah, the Brian comes from husband. Okay. Who, yeah, he and, like I said before, you know, Tim and Timmy Duncan are um, our first cousins. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, yeah. Uh, so, uh, okay. Uh, by the list of names, I think... I could like have a multiple choice 
question. And oh, I, oh, this, this, I, 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 I can oh. figure out who told you about distorting the history. <laughs> 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 but we're gonna keep it nameless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't. You, you know, I have on my shirt "Spread Love." Spread love. Spread yeah, love. yeah. I don't want anything to be perceived as as. Uh, uh, although, critique is, in my mind, is designed for me to make me a better person and to move me forward. And and although it may sting at the moment because I didn't get right. what I thought I wanted. Right. I, I, I'm like, okay, what's the silver lining here? How can I turn it out to be something even better than what I was going after? Right. Yeah. And initially I was going after a, an endorsement yeah. and the individual did not endorse the book. Right. And I'm like, hey, it's it's probably a better thing. But I, I took away that, oh, that I could, nugget. Oh, I could definitely tell you who it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But but I mean when you when you put in that kind of work, I got you, I got you. When you put in that kind of work and effort um, in, into a, a body of work that is award winning, you know, or to get the kind of accolades to be an Amazon bestseller, you still want to get that love from home and the people that you love. <laughs> and, and I, you know what? And, and I have to say, I I got a lot of of people came out of the woodwork to support, and the majority of the people that we asked to be in the documentary, they were they were just so warm and giving of themselves. Um, as well as, as restaurants, they came out and, and fed us and they contributed in that way. So it was really, really such a beautiful experience. And I, COVID just kind of threw, well, I ain't even going to go into COVID because you, everybody's plans were a little, uh, right. inter let's just say interrupted. Right. Uh, but by now I had definitely planned on coming back and having screenings and viewings and premieres and all of that. But it, it will still happen, just not on the timetable that I had thought that it would because for me, this is, uh, I, I have a found, the Fireburn Foundation, nonprofit, uh, 501c3. And so it was produced through that as well as the generous gifts of, of donors. So in my mind, this is a gift back to the U.S. Virgin Islands. And it's my hope that, that it will be used in the education system and it, that it will just, it will serve as a remembrance, as a way to honor our ancestors, as a way to teach, as a way to just keep our history going um, as a tool. All right. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So now um, a documentary, it's not necessarily the work for a screenplay. So so what's the projected time for the movie or the wow or the Netflix? Yes. Special. You know what? Or, or what are we working on? Let, let, let uh, man, from, from your mouth to God's ears, I... Because I definitely, definitely, I, I see this as, as a project. As you know, we have children's books, we have the the adult book, we middle middle school and documentary feature film. To get something done of this nature, you're talking a, a period piece. Right. The minute you say period piece, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Right. Because now you're you're, you're talking about military you know danish ships in the harbor you're you're talking about uh, costume, costume design wardrobe. alone yes. uh, uh, yeah, costume design and so you know we're, we're not talking about somebody sitting somewhere and doing little stick figures i mean we're talking money and so you know for, for me it's going to be it's a journey it's a prayer it's a hope it's, it's synergy and so that's what we're working on now to to see you know what's going to happen but you know what hey you're you're you are we're now connected you're on my list of people we're going to keep connected I'll let you know when it's happening what's happening but it, it's a story that i believe deserves to be told on the big screen because it has every element of of excitement well, and, I, I, and truth i'll tell you, you know? what though that that, that fleeting accomplishment uh, is going to make it more sellable. So uh, being on that Amazon top seller list for however long you're there is going to make that a more marketable item uh, for, for investors. And, and hopefully uh, you are successful uh, in getting that done. Yes, yes. Awesome. Well, awesome. That, that is my prayer. That is my prayer. I mean, you, you, said I'm, you said from my mouth to God's ears. First of all, I'm not that close. <laughs> but... <laughs> You already spoke it into existence. You have screenplay on the title. So uh, okay. it's clear. Yeah. It's clear. There you go. There right, you go. Well, from my mouth to God's ears. Ex that? Well, from your fingers, actually. <laughs> you probably typed that. <laughs> hey, but thank you so much for spending some time with us. How can we get the book? Well, you know what? The easiest way, 
is if you are, well, you're in St. Thomas, aren't you? Yeah, but uh, I, I spent a lot of time on St. Croix, too. Okay, so St. Croix, Undercover Books uh, in, in Christiansted, the Jewelry Factory in Christiansted, the Caribbean Museum Center for the Arts in Frederickstead, and I would love to get some connections to get it in St. Thomas as well. Okay. Uh, but however, if, if those serve as difficulties, go to my website, Angela Golden Bryan, that's B-R-Y-A-N dot com. Go to the product section and there you'll see it right, right now, there. Now, do you have other works? Yeah, yes, actually I do. Um, uh, with, with the success of the screenplay, I, I started thinking, I was like, you know what, this children need to know this. this yeah, there, there are some adult themes, but our children are being exposed to quote unquote adult themes at such an early age. Why not give them it in a way that is understandable, that is fun, but teaches them a lesson. You know, they're, they're not walking away in fear. They're not w walking away disempowered. And so I wrote, uh, I'll show you here. Hey. I wrote James and the Fireburn, James okay. and the Fireburn. And it actually received uh, an award it, uh, by Book Authority. They are uh, globally known and they, they select books worldwide. And it is number nine out of as one of the best Caribbean history books of all time. Number nine out of how many? 30. Oh, nice, man. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And, and so basically what I did is, and I encourage people who want to write, is you take problems, you t whether they're personal, whether they're global, what, wh wherever they are, and you use the book either as therapy or as a solution to that problem. And so one, the, the problem was like, how do we educate our youngsters even earlier than middle school? And then as I was writing it, my son's story came to my mind. He really mm. and became suicidal, and that was horrific for the entire family. And so, in this in this book, I incorporated what the laborers experienced at the hands of the landowners and the military to what it's like for a kid to be bullied in school. You mm. know, they're, they're feeling unsafe, they're feeling whatnot. So that that's the story of James and the Fireburn. And I have a YouTube channel, Angela Golden Bryan. You got a lot going on. And <laughs> yeah, I, you know what I do? Yeah. So, I mean, if nobody, if you don't want to buy the book, but please, you know, feel free to buy it. You'll get an autographed copy at Undercover And Books you look and like it. you got a selfie <laughs> ring around that phone, too. I, look, I, I, I see I you, do, baby. Do you, see, do you see it in my eyes? <laughs> I see you. I see you. <laughs> is, is it reflective? You, you're well lit. <laughs> I set up. <laughs> you should have seen me. I was like, okay, how's the lighting? You know, how's the... <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can go to... um. Uh, my YouTube channel, if, if you want to do a read-along, if you, you just want to hear the story, you don't want to commit to buying the book, uh, there's a read-along, James and the Fireburn. Or if, if parents want to buy the book for the kids and then read along with me. So that's that's for free. And it's there on my YouTube channel. Right. Yes, yeah, so Thank you yes. so much for making this a very big morning show for us. I got a guest coming up who's got a new song right. out with Beanie Man that we got to talk Woo! to. So thank yes. you very much, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you next time. No doubt. No doubt. Of course. Uh, and uh, if you got the weight of the world on your shoulders, here's Cruise Rock in the spirit alongside Midnight.